Hi, I'm Pau Jenner and I'm here to speak about the grid system proposal. I think that grids are good for a couple of reasons. One is to provide clarity and consistency in layout. When you have to design a user interface, it's, it's helpful to, to have a grid system so that you can distribute the elements in a, in a more clean way. But it's also helpful for developers so that they can use these, this specification based on a grid to translate that easily to, to code if they have the, the same concepts in the, in, the, in the CSS, for example, instead of having to think on the specific position of each element individually. It also helps with multiple screen support. Nowadays, we can see multiple examples of websites supporting responsive design. The basic idea of using a grid to support responsive design is to define a set of breakpoints or screen sizes that you want to support. In the current proposal, we encourage defining breakpoints in a way that they are not specific to a particular device, but they are a bit more generic to define a kind of uh, type of, of device. So instead of having breakpoints that define that are defined for Android or iPhone mobile devices, we can define something more generic such as Palm, Lab or Desk. It's important that these, these breakpoints uh, can be later extended with intermediate breakpoints or bigger or smaller ones. The way a grid supports these different screen sizes in, in our approach is to basically indicate how much of the space an element will occupy on those different uh, breakpoints. So here in the example the yellow element will occupy half of the space on a mobile device, two-fifths in a lab-defined device, or one-third for desktop devices. As I've said, it's important to, to keep those uh, breakpoints extensible since new, new screen sizes will appear both bigger and smaller in the future. Other aspects of interest of, of, the, of a grid system is that it should be optional to not force all developers to, to use it across all media wiki. We need to provide that as something that can make things easy. Make it nestable so that the grids can be defined inside of grids and we can compose different UI components. We are proposing a, a proportional grid system so you you define the user interface in terms of, for example, one half instead of six columns, assuming that you are using a 12, uh, 12 column grid system. So we are not imposing a specific number of columns. We want to make it responsive with extensible breakpoints and semantic so that layout classes are not visible on the, on the HTML. An example of that is provided here with using less, you can see that the HTML contains only a class related to, to the semantics. This is uh, a division for tools. And then on the styling, using less, we can define that tools uses some mixings that are provided by the grid system to indicate that the, the element occupies one third in general, but for Palm devices, it occupies uh, the whole width. Later, the, the specific grid implementation can, can define how these concepts are translated to a particular implementation, such as using uh, a specific width for one-third or a specific breakpoint. This is nothing really uh, new. These concepts are based on the Inuit CSS framework. And if we look at the recent versions of reference grid systems, they seem to adopt similar, ref similar concepts recently. 
So in our proposed approach, what we define as uh, one sixth, one third for Palm and Desk, they, the Bootstrap framework defines it as small two, assuming that there's a 12 column grid and large four. And foundation does the same here. If if you if you want to get more information, you can check the the request for comments or the example implementation. Thanks.